Welcome to eAnthra's Innovation Challenge 2021-22, where we nurture young minds to articulate real problems and solve problems using technology. So how do we do this? We do this using project-based learning with real problems. One is mentorship with experts to articulate real problems. Then eAnthra mentors help you develop technology solutions based on technology platforms that we have, like the drone and the mobile robotic platform and so on. And lastly, the mentorship with industry experts in innovation and entrepreneurship and incubators. So eAnthra provides a platform to young innovators to develop new technologies and then to hone their innovation and entrepreneurship skills. And finally, to showcase and present their ideas to an incubator towards a startup. So it's no wonder that the registrations in eAnthra's Innovation Challenge have been growing by leaps and bounds over the past few years. This year's theme is agriculture. India is a global agricultural powerhouse. And agriculture represents almost 20% of India's GDP of almost $2.6 trillion. And agriculture in India is no different economically, climatically, and agriculturally from that of the rest of the global south. And this year, we hope to take agricultural engineers with other engineers to solve real problems in the space of agriculture. EYIC competition is open for registrations to full-time students of engineering, science, polytechnic, and agricultural colleges from all over the global south. The competition has four stages. Stage one is a training sprint, which provides training in technologies and helps articulate problems in the agriculture domain. Stage two, is a prototyping sprint where we build a prototype of a solution with guidance from eAnthra mentors. Stage three is an innovation sprint that trains you to pitch to an incubator. And the last stage is an implementation sprint where we refine our proof of concept with the help of eAnthra mentors. So finalists get an opportunity to pitch their idea to sign the technology incubator at IIT Bombay. And it's interesting to note that eAnthra alumni have established their own startups like Nibru's Technology is doing mine surveying with drones. We have Drona Automation, which is building sewer cleaning robots. And we have Catamaran Technologies and Kumbator, which are building mobile robots. The rewards are exciting cash prizes, goodies, certificates, but above all, the chance to build your own startup. So log on to eyic.e-yantra.org. If you want to solve real problems in agriculture, then join eAnthra. We look forward to seeing you in the eAnthra Innovation Challenge 2021-22. Goodbye and God bless. Good evening. Welcome to the eAnthric session. I'm so happy to have three champion eAnthrics with me today. So we have someone who's already joined the industry, who's Ram Mahesh. He's a design a engineer with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. We have Pooja Bhatti, who has just finished her engineering and she was with MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur. And we have another champion with us, Thomas David Tensi, who's from St. Vincent Paloti College of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur. He is in his final year of engineering. So I welcome all the participants, uh, all the eanthrics to this session and uh, uh, a very grand welcome to all the viewers who are watching this session right now and will be watching it later on. So the eantra innovation challenge is going on. And as you know, the registrations are on. So I would request you all to please participate in the competition. Before I call upon the first speaker, I would like to quote that the only way to discover the limits of the possible is to go beyond them into the impossible. This is by Arthur Clark. So, uh, Ram, can you tell us about uh, how you went into this domain of something impossible through e -Yantra and how has it benefited you, uh, you know, whether it is with respect to the technology knowledge that you gained, the overall uh, grooming that you had, and eventually getting into HAL. Yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I am Ram Mahesh and uh, I had participated 
conducted two times e antra robotics competition uh, in 2017 and 2018 so uh, speaking in terms of that how e antra has benefited me first of all that uh, it uh, e antra has all uh, wherever i had uh, gone to give the interview there was always some project with me due to the e antra i was never like as under confident in any kind of interview so Uh, in the uh, robotics competition that i had participated whatever i had learned i later on realized that it was up to the industry in the, uh, standard like as if uh, when i gave the interview for the hindustan aeronautics limited there also uh, when i told them that i had done uh, my project in the robotics field under the e antra robotics competition then they uh, the panelists were very much happy that i had undertaken such a kind of project and uh, uh, from uh, my uh, beginning of the undergrad my interest was primarily in the hardware design and uh, robotic part of the project so i had uh, told them very verse and uh, they were uh, they uh, they consistently appraised the iit bombay uh, saying that they are trying to achieve the excellence in the field of robotics so uh, by these all these things it has always helped me in achieving a good uh, uh, good marks in the interview uh, i had given Uh, interview for the joint phd program of the iit bombay and monas university so in that also it it was due to only the projects that i i had undertaken in the e antra robotics competition it had it has always helped me to go to the last stage of the interview so uh, i would like to say that uh, even if you are preparing for any kind of exam let it be a government exam or a private uh, sector job then uh, these e antra projects are going to come uh, uh, very much helpful in all those interviews it will never let you uh, feel under confident in any kind of interview so that was whole thing that i had learned in this uh, uh, my uh, projects in e antra thanks ram for sharing that i think it's a very wonderful thing that you've shared is that how uh, the learnings that we have during the competition various competitions of e antra uh are it's like etched in our life zero you know, and they are going to be useful wherever we go so uh, thank you for sharing that uh, let me call upon pooja uh, to share about her experience of uh, eantra innovation challenge and uh, her team actually won uh, a medal also last year for the solution that they came up with so pooja please tell us about your journey of uh, eyic and how have you benefited Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Pooja Bharti. I have participated in EYIC 2020. It was uh, something which I was not already thinking that I have to participate. Participate. It was always a spontaneous thing that I got to know about EYIC from our faculties and seniors, and I participated in this for just to know myself what I am good at. Uh, later on, with the sessions of the ment mentors like Kiran sir, Ratan sir. they all just gave us an encouraging idea that we have to do something better we came up with the idea we got to have a whole prototype shape it was not we were actually planning we were not have any idea like that before we were having some scratch ideas but we were not planning to do but the mentors gave us so much so much confidence that yes there are so many things we can do and then we got to know that we can do more of more and more if we try if we go in in this competition we get to know about what all the possibilities are there it was amazing then once we got into the industries like when we contacted different people for our project development we got to know that other industries are also interested in our project we got calls from different companies to collaborate with us which was uh, something totally new which was like uh, okay our project is really on a good stage of development that we are getting calls from different industries for collaborate and give them these product and sell them our products it was amazing and the best thing is the mentors gave us such a good advice which we were like we were firm on our idea that we have to give this product to this industry but mentors corrected us mentors told that this is more of a vast field than you are just thinking of a one small idea so uh, they gave us so much uh, new knowledge which gave us gave our idea our project a great great Uh, beneficial thing and it was just amazing every point and at the last when they teach us about how to get a startup how to build a startup that was never in our mind that uh, 
uh, we were no technical aspects of the project but we never knew that these non tech aspects were how to build a startup what are the roles of the people what uh, needs are how to do a road map how to uh, then differentiate the roles of the team and that all came from this this platform which was really amazing i was like uh, got to know that i have more interest in not only technical there was one more field which i was more interested like a road mapping and all it was my field that way we all the team members got to know what we are more interested in and we our team got divided in their roles and they started doing their work not only in technical but non tech aspect to uh, build this project to a startup level we still now are working on this let's hope and everything goes well that was my journey with eyic Wow, very interesting, Pooja. I think uh, the fact that you know um, you've got uh, offers to collaborate, you know, with people from the industry that itself shows that you know, uh, like there's this quote, and I think it's very apt. It says that opportunities are usually disguised as hard work, so most people don't recognize them. You know, so uh, like how you all, you know, like four of y'all in your team have worked so hard. uh you know starting like you said you know you just had some idea and then you kept working kept working kept working and then you had a product actually with you where people started appreciating it so i think that is what the whole uh, purpose you know of eandra innovation challenge is that uh, you are able to solve a real problem and actually take it to a product level where uh this year we also have a collaboration with sign which is the incubator at iit bombay so you can actually pitch your idea to them and you know actually get uh, how you can go for a startup so uh with that uh, let me also uh, understand from thomas you know uh, because he's another champion who's uh, like you know been driving uh, uh, his team also won a medal last year so uh, let's hear from him that how his journey has been and how has this competition benefited um so hello all my name is thomas divitensi and i participated in the eyic the previous year and uh, it has been an awesome journey to be very honest and um, it all started with me being envious towards all my seniors who used to participate in uh, eyic back like 2 years or 3 years ago i used to envy them a lot like they used to build really cool things and it was just amazing watching them do all these crazy things which solved real life problems other than just to, to be uh, sticking on to the syllabus that was taught by the college and yeah that was where the idea of the craziness started and uh, thankfully i was blessed with a beautiful team uh, the previous year that is me mohit tejasvi and om and all worked really well and uh, it all started with um, us finding out a real problem if at all a problem existed and tackling the problem as to like the various way not only a single solution to it perhaps there might be many solutions and out of those many solutions to find the best solution that would be suited and uh, yeah that was the first stage that is to tackle the problem and after that uh, what we did was we created a prototype and uh, we really didn't expect to build a such such a great prototype with under the uh, um, mentorship of lohit sir in the beginning so he actually guided us on the way of the technical things as to like this, to, this is to be implemented at such a point of time at we, like we had various weeks in which we had uh, the various stages in which we have to implement each uh, component and that was done really beautifully and uh, that was something we really embraced while uh, moving on and towards the end we really uh, we had an experience like a sort of experience for training like shark tanks so we had a really uh, great session we had many sessions uh, by jatin sir and kiran sir so they really guided us on the right track as to like move forward and how to create a startup like um, having the right uh, goals to set the what what do you really look forward or having a vision with the company that you want to create and above all creating um, solutions to the problem that actually exist and not only making people like in various situations we see people making fool uh, of uh, the customers not like that but in the end solving real problems is what they focused on and that was one value that they passed on to us and yes that has been uh, my journey so far and it has been beautiful oh thomas it's very interesting you know i think uh, uh, this proverb uh, by peter drucker is very apt uh, to what you said you know if you want something new you have to stop doing something old you know so the fact that you shared about uh, 
you know, like how you got inspired by your seniors, uh, where, uh, you know, the kind of uh, products that they were making, which actually inspired you to, uh, you know, get on to this journey last year. So uh, uh, I'm sure, you know, students who are listening to you today uh, will get inspired to get on to the journey this year in the Eantra Innovation Challenge. And uh, there are a lot of differences this year. You can pitch your product, you can pitch your idea, you can pitch it to sign, you know, which is a great once in a lifetime opportunity, you know, where you can get incubated by IIT Bombay. So uh, with that, uh, let me come to Ram. And actually, it's for all three of you, you know, sometimes, uh, so let me get into a shoe of the student, you know, where sometimes we feel, okay, you know, academic load is too much. Let's, uh, you know, kind of uh, first deal with that, we, then we'll see a competition or, you know, we feel that, okay, we are just in the first year. So let's wait for another couple of years. We'll see in the third year or the fourth year. So what what would you like to share about this? Like, can they participate in any year? Uh, can anybody participate? What's your take on this round? Yes. Uh, uh, although I agree to this point that uh, managing a competition like E-Antra along with academics is a tough task. But uh, we need to understand that if we are trying to manage this kind of a uh, uh, work along with the academics, then it is a big achievement in itself. Suppose that uh, this task which we are doing, it, it develops, in reality, it develops uh, some kind of a soft skill, like as a t uh, time management, and uh, you know how to manage the pressure. Suppose that it is the last moment and you have to submit your video or some code, then you work so meticulously to just end the task and to finish it in a very good way. So these are things that are needed in an industry because uh, in industry every day is not like a, a so much jubilant day that you can go so easily. Life is in industry is a full of up and downs. So everything that you are going to learn after managing your e entra competition along with academics, it is going to be of great help when you will join an industry. So uh, 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 for the second question, like as a, if we can uh, join, if we can participate in any year or some specific year, I would like to say that the as early as you will uh, participate in such kind of competition, you will get a confidence of handling uh, a project of a, such a, a great depth, and it will really build your confidence that you will never feel un underconfident that, uh, uh, okay, this is third year and in third year I'm managing this kind of project. Suppose if you are in first year and you participate in E-Entra kind of project and uh, you make it to finals, then it is going to boost your confidence so much. And uh, uh, apart from that, there is no technical knowledge required, means uh, basic you need to know, but there are mentors who are going to help you at every stage of your project. And uh, whenever you will raise any query, they are going to uh, give a ample amount of hints to you so that you can build your project in a nice way. So apart from uh, any kind of restriction, any student in any year of their life, uh, their BTEC uh, uh, curriculum, they can participate. So that's from my end. Thanks, Ram. I think it's very inspiring that, you know, anybody and everybody can participate. So Pooja, what's your take on this? Uh, from my experience, I remember one thing when I started this competition, our theme was disaster management. Uh, we were like little nervous that we have to shape our ideas according to disaster management now. And what will we do? We don't have that much knowledge. But the tutorials, the training sprint which we have in this competition gave us the whole idea what disaster management is and what are the opportunities where we can develop a project for those who are in first year. You guys don't need to tension about anything. You will be trained from every aspect and you, you just have to give out all your best and give everything you have. Rest the mentors will always be there to help you. And managing academics with this competition, from my end, I was not in that big issue because uh, the mentors always uh, had us communicated that you, you guys are free at this time. They were many times adjusted to the fact that we had exams and the session is also on that day, they adjusted that with us also. Rest, you always have to work hard for your dreams. If you ha really have a dream and you're really enthusiastic about it, you have to give your 100% and even more than that. 
so true uh, puja uh, like albert einstein says that if you always do what you always did you will always get what you always got you know so uh, uh, it's very true that you know if you want to chase your dreams then you have to get out of the comfort zone and challenge something bigger so thomas what's your take on this well adding to what ram and puja just said i uh, it, it it is a thing with sharks that if at all you keep baby sharks in a little small tank they won't grow to their full sizes right so i think um, like competition such as eyic will really help students in the first year to really grow in, in the aspects of problem solving like that is the main thing that we as engineers do right solve problems of the current world so i firmly believe that um, competition such as eyic will really boost the morale of the people um, to solve problems of real life uh, situations at the same times when we have such great guidance by iit bombay given to the participants like without any issues like we could contact them at any point of like at various stages in time and um, they would like, they won't hesitate to talk to you or like uh, be uh, anywhere um, what is reluctant to answer to any of the questions so that was something that we really um, felt like the um, it's an effort by the mentors th themselves to like make us grow and uh, yeah it like basically incubate us into a new startup so yeah that's from my side thanks thomas thomas you uh... kind of reiterated something that i was going to say when you gave that shark example uh you know john kalkin says that we don't know who discovered water but we are certain it wasn't a fish so uh with that you know i would like to uh uh you know request each one of you to share some uh you know insights as to how to go about in the competition because that will be very useful for the uh, students you know because uh, some may have never participated in a competition of this scale some may be participating again and i i think ram you've participated twice so uh, what would you like to share on this front uh, according to me that if you are planning to participate in yantra competition then you will uh, you don't need to worry about anything because yantra is something that picks the current technologies and makes it in a form of a game where uh, the time you are working on a project you will never feel any kind of stress but at a later stage you will realize that whatever i had learned that is a very a very good technology very advanced technology and in the form of a game yantra has presented me opportunity to just rediscover the some parts of that technology so that is uh, for example in my first uh, project that was transporter bot we were supposed to make a communication between the three different uh, parts of a robotic uh, design a robotic project using a zigbee communication later on i realized that this can be used for the swarm robotics and there can be many kind of uh, devices or many kind of uh, bots that can be communicated to each other later on i realized that this can be used in various industries including the aerospace sector also so i think that if you are going to participate in such kind of a, a competition then you don't need to worry about it and just have a zeal to learn something be be confident that you will get a ample opportunities to rediscover and to learn various new things so that's what i think about uh, this thanks ram i think that's that's very useful Pooja, any do's and don'ts that you have that you you know your insights from last year's innovation challenge that you would like to tell the audience? Yeah, first of all, whenever you take part in such competitions, always make sure that you have a dedicated team. If one of the person is not that dedicated towards the team, it will always create some issues. I am always like our team was so dedicated at every aspect of the time that. if one was also busy at a point the others took the uh, stand and did the work and completed the project on time it was something really important for a competition like that you have to give your sincerity to this competition you have to complete your task your prototype at that point when you have to showcase then one thing is that listen to the mentors every time listen to the mentors they give you the most valuable most valuable feedback which will help your project to shape it in a better form it will you will think why we need to do this our project is best at a point you will think but when you will work towards it now you will realize no they were right they gave the right advice we have to 
see that aspect of the project also and this is the best part of eyic mentors give you such a incredible advices for your project which gives you the project a startup based foundation and that is the two main things i will really recommend for all the future enthusiastic who are trying to take part in this competition thanks pooja thanks for sharing those insights they are very useful i think the fact that you know uh, be open to suggestions be open to inputs from others i think that's a wonderful uh, point that you made uh, thomas what would you like to share uh, with the viewers uh, your learnings your insights from last year's innovation challenge um so basically the first thing i would uh, like to tell is be ready to fail if like if at all you create something it mil- it might fail it might not but be ready to fail and be always ready to fail because it's from the failures that we know like huh, this will not work and at most of the as puja just said um, that uh, the mentors will say various things that that will guide us through the entire competition right but at this at some point of time they will say things like this might not work and we ourselves believe that this will work this has to work in our hearts it, it, we might be feeling like that but uh, like it hurts the heart when they say like it might not work it looks really vague and all but it is the truth and uh, that is something that we have to take in and at and uh, most of all yeah teamwork is key uh, without teamwork i don't think so uh, we would have been able to achieve what we did and uh, team yes team work in yeah there might be fights there might be quarrels there might be disagreements between various teammates but in the end it all matter like it, it it's uh, it all it is also an opportunity to build um, a team a uh, uh, ar- arrangement sort of a setup for team work also so you know how your teammates work you know how uh, at some point, like the, especially in the second wave of covid like that was some serious time when everything was so uncertain at one point of time so at that point we, like since we were able to know that uh, yeah this my teammate is not face, uh, feeling good or like uh, they're sick and uh, troubled so team like uh, team work and the readiness to fail and to accept the truth is yeah something that i uh, took from this competition thanks thomas thanks for sharing that uh, i think uh, very very important points that you mentioned and uh, as i i want to ask you how did you solve uh, quarrels and all that because i don't know if you guys were meeting in person or these quarrels were happening on the meet and uh, so how, how any any suggestions on that for the teams in the end it was like all online right like in the initial pages of uh, seeing what the problems was like online so we used to huddle up in uh, google meet or teams and we used to discuss so obviously like one person will have an opinion on something and at the same time someone else will have something else and uh, will like as humans we have the tendency of knowing that we are only right right and uh, as 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 invented went along uh, the timeline went along we understood like yes um, this might be right this might like we started to agreeing to each other started listening to each other rather than hearing what like he- like there's a difference between hearing and listening right so we actually listened to each other at one point of time and that is when we realized like yeah like m- maybe what he's saying makes sense and uh, yeah there haven't been any quarrels as of such but yes um, disagreements is uh, something that uh, we'll all have to deal with at some point or the other or like basically in life or in the future uh, aspects of uh, doing well in a company or in a startup so yeah that's all from my side okay thanks thanks i think uh, it's very useful thomas so uh, uh, to all three of you i just want to ask you one thought you know that i mean it's there in my mind is that uh, the e yantra uh, you know this whole training that you all receive at e yantra it kind of shapes you as a person right i mean uh, it, not just the technical aspect the whole thing you know and ram was also talking about the kind of time management pressure handling etc that you have to do is actually what you have to do in the industry and it's not a rosy day that you have every day in the industry it's it's a difficult day so uh, what i want to ask is see uh, this year's innovation challenge uh, you know has an opportunity where you can pitch uh, your ideas to the incubator at iit bombay so uh, you know some of us may at this point of time may not be thinking of a startup but what i want you all to share with our viewers is the mindset of being an entrepreneur you know so like this uh, mindset of taking initiative this mindset of solving problems so what is your take on that
या राम प्लीज कॉय यस एक्चुअली व्हेन स्टूडेंट पार्टिसिपेट्स इन ई यंत्रा टाइप ऑफ कंपटीशन देन देर आर मेनी थिंग्स दैट अ स्टूडेंट्स डेवलप्स फॉर एग्जांपल दिस कंपटीशन डेवलप्स अ रिस्क टेकिंग कैपेबिलिटी इन अ स्टूडेंट and uh, one more thing that is most relevant is that you have to take care of the every small thing that is is there uh, so for example uh, in my second project that i did in uh, a yantra competition there was one small mistake and every point of time we were just uh, trying to ignore that <laughs> means uh, uh, we would have solved it and uh, if it has been solved then our project would have been a good it was like as interfacing the touch sensor but every time we were deceived by the other method that we used so it is like that when you participate in such kind of a competition it is going to build the required characters that are needed for a, any kind of a startup like as risk taking capability and you will have to be innovative means uh, uh, there are various uh, marks uh, as i uh, in our time there used to be various marks for the aesthetic part of the project like as a, for the design part how uh, how uh, robust your design is so all these things taking a care of uh, even a smaller part of a project that is something that yantra competition builds in you and which are uh, certainly useful for the startup also and uh, that's what i think that uh, when you participate in such kind of project you uh, develop uh, this kind of uh, ability and you may run the good type of a startup in your career ahead so that's what i think about it thanks ram thanks for sharing that pooja what is your thought on this aspect uh, of uh, you know uh, maybe uh, you know the, the, the whole entrepreneurial mindset you know that one develops like uh, ram also talked about the risk taking abilities and there are many other aspects of it so what what is your take on this when we started this competition we were also not that uh, uh, confident about that we will start have a startup based idea we will get to that point it was like this competition slowly and slowly build in us the when a competition gave us always that uh, keep working hard keep your confidence don't need to worry about what's next do what you have to do at this moment complete your work you have to focus on what you are doing right now zaruri nahi hai ki aage kya hoga so that was the one thing that this competition gave us we kept on working and working we were never knew that we will end to the final stages also but we every time the mentors gave us a task we like let's do it it's going to solve a new thing it's going to give us a project a new way let's do it let's don't focus on what's not happen at a point we were like totally uh, given up for for one thing one issue came in our project which we like there is no solution there that but we still tried tried we gave up with a second plan we again presented in front of them that is one thing you have to keep working hard you have to keep your goals right you have to work for it 100% till the time you reach the end of the don't give up in between reach till the end then let's see what happens wow thanks thanks pooja for sharing that and uh, i would just like to quote uh, brian herbert out here uh, the capacity to learn is a gift the ability to learn is a skill and the willingness to learn is a choice so uh, we all have that choice you know to to learn to participate in the e yantra innovation challenge so uh, let's not miss the registrations it's going on and uh, please do register yourself uh, so let me get back to thomas uh, thomas what's your take on what we were discussing uh, adding to what uh, everybody just said uh, i believe no project is small be it a little ir sensor that we like take a ir sensor and we connect it to a fan if it the proximity increase uh, decreases be it that small like in if at all one like the uh, student believes that his idea can solve a particular problem i think it's just fabulous and to create such a uh, mindset in the uh, students itself that their ideas or their projects that they have uh, will solve a problem will actually help in creating lot more products which will actually solve a lot more problems so um, 
yes and like while we were doing our project uh, and as we saw various projects that we were showcased on the finals and on the pre finals uh, we saw that no pro- like that is what we concluded like our team uh, concluded like no project is actually small be it uh, we actually saw many more uh, videos and presentations of earlier eyics to take some inspiration from here and there and uh, yes that is concluded like no project is small and if at all you believe that this product of uh, this project can be converted into a product and can be actually ma- uh, marketed to solve problems then why not wow wonderful thomas so before we conclude i would like each one of you to give a closing remark or uh, uh, you know your advice your suggestions to students so starting with ram yes uh, my uh, advice to all the participant is that Uh, be uh, don't fear about anything you just participate in this competition and uh, believe me that you are going to get a lot of opportunities to learn and uh, certainly you will have a experience of working in a industry means that if you are going to participate in such kind of competition it is this competition is going to present you opportunity to have a learning uh, of working in a uh, industry type of thing so this is a thing that i would like to share to uh, all the mem- uh, all the students who, uh, who are going to participate thanks ram uh, i think what you said is that today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want so uh, yes. thank you for sharing that uh, uh, pooja what's uh, your closing remarks or your advice to our uh, students who are participating this year i would like to say that it's not necessary we are born talented we are born with lots of knowledge and understanding but if you really want you can give your 110% to reach what others already have with their talent so just keep working hard give your 100% if you are not born with it you will learn with the time thanks pooja with that i would like to quote steve jobs he said learn continually there is always one more thing to learn so uh thanks for sharing that uh thomas what about your closing remark to students to encourage them well i don't know if it fits in well but uh, as mounted you said dar ke aage jeet hai so don't be fearful and just uh, participate in uh, these comp- like uh, eva ic this year and if even if you don't win i promise you like you will have a whole new perspective on the pro- like problem seeking ability and seeing a, uh, seeing the problems in a new perspective So yeah. Thanks Thomas. I think uh, it's a very apt one dar ke aage jeet hai. On just adding to that I will say that uh, what Jackson Brown had shared nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity. So this is an opportunity for us to actually uh, you know experience the world of e-yantra where you can not only learn technical skills you can actually groom the entire self you know it is an opportunity to actually try and solve a real problem and not just that you actually get to a product and you get a chance to pitch this product to the incubator at iit bombay so it's a wonderful opportunity let's not miss it let's go for it and let's register ourselves please visit the portal and register yourself and i would like to thank ram thomas and pooja for taking out their precious time to share their insights with all of us and i would like to thank the entire eantra team working so hard to make this eantra session happen thank you everyone have a good day thank you thank you all thank you all welcome to eantras innovation challenge where we nurture young minds to articulate real problems and solve them using technology we help you learn and hone your skills and provide mentorship from domain experts successful entrepreneurs and our very own eantra experts finalists get exciting cash prizes goodies certificates and a chance to pitch their ideas to iit bombay's technology business incubator sign log on to eyic.e-yantra.org see you in the competition Welcome to Eantra's Innovation Challenge where we nurture young minds to articulate real problems and solve them using technology. We help you learn and hone your skills and provide mentorship from domain experts, successful entrepreneurs and our very own Eantra experts. Finalists get exciting cash prizes. 
goodies, certificates, and a chance to pitch their ideas to IIT Bombay's technology business incubator, Sign. Log on to eyic.e-yantra.org. See you in the competition.